Hello everybody and welcome back to Killer Gaming. This is my new segment of my channel. Uh, today we're talking about Metal Gear Solid Microtransactions PvP or in player versus player or multiplayer. Uh, this is a uh, basis on the fact that you have a home base and you can um, build your base and you have multiple bases off of uh, a particular area. Of course rival players and the multiplayer can attack those bases. You have to put manpower and resources etc etc uh, to protect those bases but of course they are vulnerable and you can attack their bases, they can attack yours. That's the whole point. Uh, however, to build these bases, you have to unlock um, areas in the water. Um, now, this is done uh, by in-game currency called uh, MB coins, I believe. Uh, now, these are purchased uh, uh, with real money, essentially. And um, wow, really. So the, the, the Konomi are already using the mobile tactics uh, in Metal Gear Solid. Uh, to um, to have people buy, well, buy 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 uh, areas and as such in the game. I don't know if you I don't know if you can unlock them through grinding and stuff like that. I'm not too sure how it works, but yeah. So basically, uh, it has microtransactions. Now, sh off the top of my head, I don't really want to. I mean, if it's for weapons and stuff, I would uh, it'd be a bit more understand it but this is the areas in space I, I don't really know if I like that I don't like the business model anyway in general but uh, well there you go it's for real for real money and how they do this now if you look at FIFA in general I mean the amount of money they expect you to spend on, on like FIFA coins and stuff it's fucking insane um, again these ain't now when this is microtransactions how much of the game is based on microtransactions I don't know is it a huge chunk is it you know or just a small part or optional where you, you don't have to do that and it doesn't really play a big part. I don't know. Uh, anyway, Square Enix uh, is giving away an island uh, to do with uh, their game Just Cause Free. Uh, you have to be at the top of their leaderboards uh, for 90 days, well not for 90 days, but anywhere up to after 90 days of their game being released, they are going to give away a free island. Uh, they're not saying it's inhabitable or not, or it's only accessible by boat, etc, etc, which is odd I mean who would I mean uh, if you manage to be at the top of uh, the leaderboards at the end of 90 days that's brilliant for you uh, but also if you don't want an island which apparently they say they're not all lawyers fees and taxes and stuff like that that you will incur upon owning an island that comes on you so you know I might be given an island tomorrow but then I've got a load of shit load of bills and if it's inhabitable and I can't do anything with it then what the hell's the point but there is another option of course you can take 50,000 in cash um, the island's worth 50000 so that's another option there as well. I'd probably take the cash, let's face it, who wouldn't, unless you're, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong, if you've got the funds to, or the guts to do that, and you can do whatever you want with your island and pay the fees, and by all means, help. maybe make it a massive um, paintballing island or something, I don't know. It's a good opportunity to do business ventures and stuff like that, but again, having the money or making uh, investments on it, etc., etc. But yeah, that's an interesting way of getting your uh, game sold and having people play your game. Uh, for 90 days at least after it's been released. Okay, Yakuza 5 uh, launches uh, with, uh, in the West on PS3, not PS4, but yeah, so Yakuza uh, 5 release launches in the West with all the DLC uh, with uh, subplots uh, involving the main characters. I'm not sure about the pricing thus far, etc. <clears throat> Uh, next up is Rise of the Tomb Raider. Oh, well, hold on, I just want to uh, go on that. Yakuza 5. I did play Yakuza, one of the Yakuza games, a few years back. Um, it w the, the, the story is always interesting. I have to say that. The story is always really, really good, and I'm interested in the story. But the gameplay sucked in the last one I played. I think it was Yakuza 2. I don't know. Maybe it's on PS2, PS3. I don't really know. Uh, my friend, my, my Chaos, will remember. But uh, the, the characters were bulky and everything. Uh, if you're looking for... Um, and also, it's another thing, they're all in Japanese and there's subtitles. Why the fuck am I going to want to read subtitles in a game? Literally, I, I mean, don't get me wrong, I understand if people like it, it's popular, it's fine. But me personally, I don't, like, that really annoys the shit out of me. If anything, if you're going to um, go for something like Yakuza or looking for anything like that, go Sleeping Dogs. You know what I mean? That is, that's like the GTA version of, you know, the, the, the Yakuza. You know what I mean? The, the Western version of the Yakuza games, and I highly recommend that rather than this. But hey, there you go. If you're interested, you're interested. That is releasing. I don't know the release date of that, unfortunately. Sometime next year, I think. I'm not too sure. But all the DLC will be there as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, now this one is the next uh, game. It's a little bit disappointing because it's, it's good, but it's bad at the same time. So 
The Rise of the Tomb Raider Collector's Edition has been announced. You can only buy it on the uh, Square Enix website. Pretty smart of them. All their business comes straight to them directly. That's all fine, well and good. You get a 12-inch statue um, of Laura, a steelbook case, a jade necklace of the first artifact that she found as a, a Tomb Raider, um, and a notebook, or her journal, sorry, is, is what I should say. Um, but here's the bad thing about this. This is only available for Xbox One. And uh, Now, we knew this game was time exclusive, but it's time exclusive for one year. Not three months, not six months, one full year. By that time, I've seen enough of this, uh, like that it's, it's coming out, it's this, it's out. I know how good it's going to be, but at the same time, I don't want to wait a year to play it, literally. And they're not even, it's there, and they're going to be holding it for a year. So you might as well say, if I had an Xbox One right now, I might as well just buy an Xbox One, play it, and then forget about it. You know what I mean? Um... Because I'm going to be saturated with people playing it in playthroughs or maybe reviews and stuff like that. Not that I'm going to be really looking for it, to be honest with you, I won't. But it's all going to be there, and, and, and it's going to be people posting up about it, and it's going to be current, but not. It's going to be limited, you know what I mean? Um, I, I don't know how much that's going to bother everyone else, but it's kind of pissing me off. I mean, a full year, and to know it's already there, you just ain't releasing it. I think that's a bit disrespectful. I know it's a business model and they've done it, but I think, I've got to say, Square Enix, I think it's a shitty move on your part, because weren't, I'm talking, weren't your original fan base on the PlayStation? Like, or I, I swear it was like a PlayStation-only game before Xbox even came out or anything. So you, you doing that is pretty shitty, a slap in the face to your fans, and... Um, you got away partly with Tomb uh, the first Tomb Raider um, being uh, you dubbed uh, you dubbed it. You uh, ported it over to PS4 after a year only. Because, a, it's a good game. I'll give you that. But two, nothing was out for the PS4. Nothing was out. You like so you 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 jumped into a market where there was nothing. You know what I mean? If it was a bargain bin and everyone in the world is looking for a PS4 game, there was about fucking seven games in there max. You know what I mean? And that's why people picked up your game. Uh, yes, it was a good game, but uh, I think it's a slap in the face for, for, for people like me who did play the uh, uh, Tomb Raider, the last one, and then you fucking put it to Xbox. I think that's shitty of you, and I, I you know, I, I think that's fucking, oh man, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm pissed off at that. I think it's a bit disrespectful. Um, okay, next up, Assassin's Creed uh, won't be released uh, on the PC until November 19th. Now, this is PC only. It's getting it a month uh, late. Because uh, due to optimization, polishing, and um, you know opti uh, all that kind of stuff, you know, so it runs smoothly on the PC. Uh, also, another delay: uh, Rainbow Six Siege. I'm looking forward to this. Now, the original uh, date, uh, what was it? Uh, was October 13th? It's supposed to come out. Now, there were a lot of games during September, you know, up till Christmas anyway, so we'd be occupied, luckily enough, anyway. But this has been delayed till December 1st. Disappointing, but with how long we've waited anyway, it doesn't really um, doesn't really matter. Let's be honest, and we'd be pre preoccupied with every other game out by that time anyway. But the danger in that is the fact that um, you know there's so many games people won't be able to buy it. But I'm sure you know people will pick it up eventually. I know I will be regardless. Uh, the last one was pretty good, loved it. Co-op was great. It's uh, they, they've done SWAT gaming or whatever you want to call it. I've got call SWAT gaming. You know, like the SWAT team element of it. They've done it fantastically brilliant. You know, they've nailed it. They haven't gone, this is an element like Call of Duty of Paris sliding down a fucking building or something. They've taken the whole premise of that and built a whole story and a whole game around that specifically. Uh, a style or tactic, etc, uh, etc. Et which is great and I cannot wait to play it. <clears throat> so, you know, they haven't damaged themselves in any way, shape or form. It's been delayed anyway. We've been waiting forever for this thing to come out. So, you know, what's one, or one month or two, you know what I mean? Um... This was based on improvements to game modes, feedback, uh, improved co-op, weapons optimizations, and game modes, polish, and infrastructure. So they're just basically polishing it and uh, you know doing a little bit more better infrastructure and making sure the co-op works, which is important in any game, especially a, a game based on this. You know, because I do want to play co-op. Uh, finally, uh, get uh, movie news, and there's only one mo uh, film I'm going to be talking about. New Blade story, uh, the comic book is rebooting, Marvel would decide to reboot it, not that I give a shit anyway, uh, the original film was good, but what have you, I don't really care to see another Blade movie, but they're saying that the new Blade movie, uh, Wesley Snipes, is in talks with Marvel to make it, the story is going to be based around his daughter, and he will be a father or slash mentor, 
of um, of his daughter, what have you. Anyway, guys, that's about it for um, this um, this week's gaming news. I didn't make one last week because uh, I was there was nothing I wanted to talk about. Uh, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at um, Killer Gaming. Um, well, I'll just put a link in the description below. I haven't really renamed it just yet, um, but uh, I, I've uploaded that uh, video about me changing my name of my gaming channel, etc., in one or two days to give everyone an update. But yeah, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and uh, see you next time. <clears throat> Thanks for watching.